Session 12 of the Law of 1 January 28, 1981. Ra, I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner, I got a call from Henry Puharich this afternoon and he will be here next month. I would like to ask if it is permissible for him to join in our circle and ask questions. I would also like to ask if Michelle Dobrinovic, also known as George Hunt Williamson, could join our circle as well? Ra, I am Ra. These entities, at present, are not properly attuned for the particular work due to vibrational distortions which in turn are due to a recent lack of time slash space which you call busyness. It would be requested that the entities spend a brief time slash space in each diurnal cycle of your planet in contemplation. At a future time slash space in your continuum you are requested to ask again. This group is highly balanced to this instrument's vibratory distortions due to, firstly, contact with the instrument on a day-to-day -day basis. Secondly, due to contact with the instrument through meditation periods. Thirdly, through a personal mind slash body slash spirit complex distortion towards contemplation which in some causes this group to be effective. Questioner, in the last session you mentioned that the Orion Crusaders came here in chariots. Could you describe the chariots? Ra, I am Ra. The term chariot is a term used in warfare among your peoples. That is its significance. The shape of the Orion craft is one of the following, firstly, the elongated, ovoid shape which is of a darker nature than silver but which has a metallic appearance if seen in the light. In the absence of light, it appears to be red or fiery in some manner. Other craft include disc-shaped objects of a small nature approximately 12 feet in your measurement in diameter, the box-like shape approximately 40 feet to a side in your measurement. Other craft can take on a desired shape through the use of thought control mechanisms. There are various civilization complexes which work within this group. Some are more able to use intelligent infinity than others. The information is very seldom shared, therefore, the chariots vary greatly in shape and appearance. Questioner, is there any effort on the part of the Confederation to stop the Orion chariots from arriving here? Ra, I am Ra. Every effort is made to quarantine this planet. However, the network of guardians, much like any other pattern of patrols on whatever level, does not hinder each and every entity from penetrating quarantine, for if request is made in light slash love, the law of one will be met with acquiescence. If the request is not made, due to the slipping through the net, then there is penetration of this net. Questioner. Who makes this request? Ra, I am Ra. Your query is unclear. Please restate. Questioner, I don't understand how the Confederation stops the Orion chariots from coming through the quarantine? Ra, I am Ra. There is contact at the level of light form or light body being depending upon the vibratory level of the Guardian. These guardians sweep reaches of your Earth's energy fields to be aware of any entities approaching. An entity which is approaching is hailed in the name of the One Creator. Any entity thus hailed is bathed in love slash light and will of free will obey the quarantine due to the power of the Law of One. Questioner, what would happen to the entity if he did not obey the quarantine after being hailed? Ra, I am Ra. To not obey quarantine after being hailed on the level of which we speak would be equivalent to your not stopping upon walking into a solid brick wall. Questioner, what would happen to the entity if he did this? What would happen to his chariot? Ra, I am Ra. The creator is one being. The vibratory level of those able to breach the quarantine boundaries is such that upon seeing the love slash light net it is impossible to break this law. Therefore, nothing happens. No attempt is made. There is no confrontation. The only beings who are able to penetrate the quarantine are those who discover windows or distortions in the space slash time continua surrounding your planet's energy fields. Through these windows they come. These windows are rare and unpredictable. Questioner. 
does this account for what we call UFO flaps where a large number of UFOs show up like in 1973? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. Questioner, are most of the UFOs which are seen in our skies from the Orion group? Ra, I am Ra. Many of those seen in your skies are of the Orion group. They send out messages. Some are received by those who are oriented toward service to others. These messages then are altered to be acceptable to those entities while warning of difficulties ahead. This is the most that self-serving entities can do when faced with those whose wish is to serve others. The contacts which the group finds most helpful to their cause are those contacts made with entities whose orientation is towards service to self. There are many thought form entities in your skies which are of a positive nature and are the projections of the confederation. Other sightings are due to the inadvertent visualization by your people's optical mechanisms of your own government's weaponry. Questioner, which group was it that contacted Henry Puharich in Israel around 1972? Ra, I am Ra. We must refrain from answering this query due to the possibility slash probability that the one you call Henry will read this answer. This would cause distortions in his future. It is necessary that each being use free and complete discernment from within the all self which is at the heart of the mind slash body slash spirit complex. Questioner, would that also keep you from answering who it was that the group I was in, in 1962, contacted then? Ra, I am Ra. This query may be answered. The group contacted was the Confederation. Questioner, did they have any of their craft in our area at that time? Ra, I am Ra. There was no craft. There was a thought form. Questioner, you mentioned that the Orion Crusaders, when they get through the net, give both technical and non-technical information. I think I know what you mean by technical information, but what type of non-technical information do they give? And am I right in assuming that this is done by telepathic contact? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. Through telepathy the philosophy of the law of one with the distortion of service to self is promulgated. In advanced groups there are rituals and exercises given and these have been written down just as the service to others oriented entities have written down the promulgated philosophy of their teachers. The philosophy concerns the service of manipulating others that they may experience service towards the other self, thus through this experience becoming able to appreciate service to self. These entities would become oriented towards service to self and in turn manipulate yet others so that they in turn might experience the service towards the other self. Questioner, would this be the origin of what we call black magic? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct in one sense, incorrect in another. The Orion group has aided the so-called negatively oriented among your mind slash body slash spirit complexes. These same entities would be concerning themselves with service to self in any case and there are many upon your so-called inner planes which are negatively oriented and thus available as inner teachers or guides and so-called possessors of certain souls who seek this distortion of service to self. Questioner, is it possible for an entity here on earth to be so confused as to call both the Confederation and the Orion group in an alternating way, first one, then the other? and then back to the first again. Ra, I am Ra. It is entirely possible for the untuned channel, as you call that service, to receive both positive and negative communications. If the entity at the base of its confusion is oriented toward service to others, the entity will begin to receive messages of doom. If the entity at the base of the complex of b is oriented towards service to self, the Crusaders, who in this case, do not find it necessary to lie, will simply begin to give the philosophy they are here to give. Many of your so-called contacts among your people have been confused and self-destructive because the channels were oriented towards service to others but, in the desire for proof, were open to the lying information of the crusaders who then were able to neutralize the effectiveness of the channel. Questioner, are most of these crusaders fourth density? Ra, 
I am Ra. There is a majority of fourth density. That is correct. Questioner, is an entity in the fourth density normally invisible to us? Ra, I am Ra. The use of the word normal is one which befuddles the meaning of the question. Let us rephrase for clarity. The fourth density is, by choice, not visible to third density. It is possible for fourth density to be visible. However, it is not the choice of the fourth density entity to be visible due to the necessity for concentration upon a rather difficult vibrational complex which is the third density you experience. Questioner, are there any confederation or Orion entities living upon the earth and operating visibly among us in our society at this time? Ra, I am Ra. There are no entities of either group walking among you at this time. However, the Crusaders of Orion use two types of entities to do their bidding, shall we say. The first type is the thought form, the second, a kind of robot. Questioner, could you describe the robot? Ra, I am Ra. The robot may look like any other being. It is a construct. Questioner, is the robot what is normally called the men in black? Ra, I am Ra. This is incorrect. Questioner, who are the men in black? Ra, I am Ra. The men in black are a thought form type of entity which have some be honest to their makeup. They have certain physical characteristics given them. However, their true vibrational nature is without third density vibrational characteristics and, therefore, they are able to materialize and dematerialize when necessary. Questioner. Are all of these men in black then used by the Orion Crusaders? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. Questioner, if a man in black were to visit me and I locked him in the closet could I keep him, or would he disappear? Ra, I am Ra. It depends upon which type of entity you grab. You are perhaps able to perceive a construct. The construct might be kept for a brief period although these constructs also have an ability to disappear. The programming on these constructs, however, makes it more difficult to remotely control them. You would not be able to grapple with the thought form entity of the man in black, as you call it, type. Questioner, would this be against the law of one? Would I be making a mistake by grabbing one of those entities? Ra, I am Ra. There are no mistakes under the law of one. Questioner, what I mean to ask is would I be polarizing more towards self-service or service to others when I did this act of locking up the thought form or construct? Ra, I am Ra. You may consider that question for yourself. We interpret the law of one, but not to the extent of advice. Questioner, you spoke of wanderers. Who are wanderers? Where do they come from? Ra, I am Ra. Imagine, if you will, the sands of your shores. As countless as the grains of sand are the sources of intelligent infinity. When a social memory complex has achieved its complete understanding of its desire, it may conclude that its desire is service to others with the distortion towards reaching their hand, figuratively, to any entities who call for aid. These entities whom you may call the brothers and sisters of sorrow move toward this calling of sorrow. These entities are from all reaches of the infinite creation and are bound together by the desire to serve in this distortion. Questioner, how many of them are incarnate on earth now? Ra, I am Ra. The number is approximate due to an heavy influx of those birthed at this time due to an intensive need to lighten the planetary vibration and thus aid in harvest. The number approaches 65 million. Questioner, are most of these from the fourth density? Or what density do they come from? Ra, I am Ra. Few there are of fourth density. The largest number of wanderers, as you call them, are of the sixth density. The desire to serve must be distorted towards a great deal of purity of mind and what you may call foolhardiness or bravery, depending upon your distortion complex judgment. The challenge slash danger of the wanderer is that it will forget its mission, become karmically involved, 
and thus be swept into the maelstrom of which it had incarnated to avert the destruction. Questioner, what could one of these entities do to become karmically involved? Could you give an example of that? Ra, I am Ra. An entity which acts in a consciously unloving manner in action with other beings can become karmically involved. Questioner, do many of these wanderers have physical ailments in this third density situation? Ra, I am Ra. Due to the extreme variance between the vibratory distortions of third density and those of the more dense densities, if you will, wanderers have as a general rule some form of handicap, difficulty, or feeling of alienation which is severe. The most common of these difficulties are alienation, the reaction against the planetary vibration by personality disorders, as you would call them, and body complex ailments, indicating difficulty in adjustment to the planetary vibrations such as allergies, as you would call them. Questioner, is there a way for these wanderers to heal themselves of their physical ailments? Ra, I am Ra. This will be the last complete question of this time slash space. The self-healing distortion is affected through realization of the intelligent infinity resting within. This is blocked in some way in these who are not perfectly balanced in bodily complexes. The blockage varies from entity to entity. It requires the conscious awareness of the spiritual nature of reality, if you will, and the corresponding pourings of this reality into the individual mind slash body slash spirit complex for healing to take place. We will use this instrument as example. The portions of its ailment as you call this distortion complex, that can be perfected in balance are due primarily to a blockage of the indigo ray or pineal energy center. This center receives the intelligent energy from all sources lawful within the one creation, that is, lawful in this third density distortion or illusion. If there is no blockage, these energies pour or stream down into the mind slash body slash spirit complex perfecting moment by moment the individual's body complex. This instrument also experiences some distortion of the green ray energy center which you may call the heart center. It is overly open due to an intensive desire distortion on the part of this mind slash body slash spirit complex towards service to others, or as you may call it, universal love. This entity, therefore, spends itself without regard to its reserves of mind slash body slash spirit complex distortion in regard to what you call strength or energy. This distortion is primarily due to the blockage of the indigo ray. As we have said before, the misapprehension distortion of the instrument responsible for this blockage is the basic orientation towards a belief in unworthiness. The unworthiness distortion blocks the free flow of intelligent energy. The seventh or violet ray is unimpaired, this being not only an energy receptor but a sum total of the vibratory level of the individual. The other energy centers are also quite clear. The solution to healing in this case is action that puts into practice the peaceful understanding in humility distortion that the entity is one with the Creator, therefore perfected and not separate. In each case of what you would call ill health one or more of these energy centers is blocked. The intelligence of the mind slash body slash spirit complex needs then to be alerted either by the self as healer or by the catalyst of another healer, as we have said before. Is there a short question before we close this session? Questioner, is it possible for you to tell us if any of the three of us are wanderers? Ra, I am Ra. In scanning each of the mind slash body slash spirit complexes present, we find an already complete sureness of this occurrence and, therefore, find no harm in recapitulating this occurrence. Each of those present are wanderers pursuing a mission, if you will. Questioner, thank you. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable? Ra, I am Ra. We ask you to realign the object upon which the symbols sit. It is not a significant distortion for only one session, but you will find upon measuring the entire assemblage that the resting place is 1.4 degree from the correct alignment, the resting place an additional 5 degree away from proper orientation.
Do not concern yourselves with this in the space slash time nexus present, but do not allow these distortions to remain over a long period or the contact will be gradually impaired. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.